so the Memphis Grizzlies have suspended Ja Morant again because sometimes yesterday he was on an Instagram live with a friend of his waving around a gun again. Here he is. And uh, here's the video. I'm going to have to mute it. I'm going to have to mute it because of the music. Here it is. NBA All-Star. One of the most dynamic dunkers in the league today. In history, I can say from me watching the NBA, for him to be six foot three, jumping as high as he is. Uh, NB MVP rankings. This season, he's 23 years old, by the way. This season, here, let's go look at his stats. Tell you how good this guy is. This season, 26 points, eight assists, six rebounds. Career highs of 52 points, 13 rebounds, 17 assists, five steals, two blocks, 11 triple doubles. Next year, next season, when they start um, training camp, what, uh, September 2023, he's set to make $33 million a year. When I'm when I like me doing this video, I do have to admit I'm like I'm stunned by the amount of idiocy this guy has been showing. And remember, he was suspended three games, excuse me, eight games by the Memphis Grizzlies when they were on a hell of a playoff run. Because it is video incident right here back in uh, March of this year of him flashing a gun in the club, not to mention him uh, threatening a minor the other incidents that's been coming up. So here, let's read what this says. The Memphis Grizzlies have suspended John Morant from all team activities. Basically, get the fuck away from the team is what they're saying. After a video showing the star holding the gun began circulating on social media platforms. The Grizzlies announced the suspension, which is pending a league review in a statement Sunday, two months after the NBA suspended Morant over a similar incident. The team did not provide further comment. We are aware of the social media posts involving John Morant and are in the process of gathering more information, NBA spokesperson Mike Bass said in a statement on Sunday. On Saturday, this was yesterday, The um, right now it's 12.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this video, this video started circulating around on social media early this morning between 6 and 7 a.m. Eastern. Um, on Saturday, during an Instagram live session on Moran's friend, Devontae Pack's account, the all-star flashed a handgun while riding in the passenger seat of a car singing along to a rap song. The video has been since deleted. Morant left the Grizzlies and entered counseling program in March after the video showed him holding a gun while intoxicated at a Denver club when the Grizzlies, Grizzlies were in town to play the Nuggets. Now, he dodged a bullet right there because I remember the controversy was, well, did he have it on the team plane? You know, um, you know, like it was the day of a game being intoxicated. I'm wondering, like, what counseling do you go through? Like, you know, like for you brandishing a gun in a club. He was eventually suspended eight games after a meeting with the NBA commissioner who Moran's conduct irresponsible, who called Moran's conduct irresponsible, reckless and potentially very dangerous. So let's stop right there. Now, this is a guy that didn't grow up in the hood, didn't grow up in what would be considered, you know, everyone has their troubles, but didn't grow up would be what would be considered a rough life. And for some reason, he wants to live this dickhead street persona. So has it gotten to a point that he's so rich now that nobody can talk to him? Because I got to imagine that his parents got to be pissed. Like, what is you doing? And why? It doesn't make sense. Let's go listen to what um, Shannon Sharp had to say a while ago about this. Take your time out. Like the video. Subscribe. Thanks for watching. Here's the video right here, but I can't uh, play the uh, video, but you only you only need to hear the audio. But listen in. Situation. I would job. 
My bad, some technical difficulties, but here's the uh, video right here. Situation. I wish y'all were real. Oh, and also what I was saying was, if you didn't hear, um, we're going to play just the audio. Um, and that's all you really need because we don't want to get copyrighted by uh, Fox Sports. Thanks for watching. Glad that he's not a thug. Ja is a, really, ja is a really good basketball player. Ja did everything he could to lift himself and his family out of this type of environment and to get away from this. And for some reason, he wants to surround himself with these type of people. Why? Bro, you not hard. That's not your life. People that in that life would give anything to be in your life. Great point. For some reason, you're worth 30, you're worth, you got a $200 million contract and you want people in the NBA to think you hood. To think you gangster mm -hmm. because you roll with these type of people, bro. You putting yourself in harm's way when you don't have to. Nobody looks at you, John. Think, man, that's a thug. He hood. <laughs> he down. He bought that. You not. Mm. Stop pretending. All you do is yap into my. Oh, I'm gonna let him live to see another day. I'm gonna do this. You're not gonna do nothing. What you're gonna do is get yourself in trouble, put yourself and your family in harm's way when you don't have to. Just play basketball. If you want to do all that chirping and all that about y'all good, how great y'all are, mm -hmm. even though your record indicate since you made your statement, Dylan Brooks made his statement, you've been awful. Have at that. I got no problem. I, I wish you wouldn't talk so much considering mm -hmm. y'all talk so much to have done so little. That's a part of it. I get that. But this, 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 what you're going about, pretending like you, like you down like that, like you tote, that you carry, bruh, you putting yourself in harm's way, mm. and it's not a good look for you. Stop this, man. This is not you. You, you. I mean, you, you played basketball to get out of this environment. You could, hey, I guarantee you got homeboys. You say that's your fam. You tweet that that's your fam. That probably had talent like you, but they chose that life. Bro, you need to let that go, because that's not you. It's not. You pretend like you hard, but you're not, Ja. You're opening yourself up. You're putting yourself in a position you don't even need to be in. And for what? For street cred? Like, yeah, and for who? Like, something deeper is going on here, and I, and I hope that he pulls together. But I think that his next season is done. Don't be surprised if he gets suspended for the season. You know, and they fucking run and take his money because, you know, um, his contract for next year. I don't, uh, can they do that? Can they revoke your money? I'm not sure, but, you know, he had a meeting with the commissioner of the NBA. Now, if this was David Stern, David Stern would have David Stern would have cooked him. The previous uh, NBA uh, commissioner would have cooked the shit out of him. You know, would have told him, like, look, look what he did to uh, Gilbert Arenas. And even though this is not on basketball facilities, it's just still you're supposed to be a role model for the NBA. Let me see. As I said, like they're cooking him on social media, bro. Like they cooking this dude. Josh PR team waking up this morning. They need to send him to the military. They need to send his ass right now over there and let him join that Russian and uh, goddamn me Ukrainian war. Put his motherfucking ass on the front line. Let's see if he really gangster. Send Todd, whatever that boy named, Ja Morant. Send his wanna be thug gangster, crip ass to the Ukrainian war. Let him join the Ukrainian forces or send his motherfucking ass uh, over there where they finna get ready to bang up with China. Other than that, send him to prison. He need at least two years or 180 days in state jail. He do not need, he need to, he need to get out the NBA. Let him go play basketball in prison where niggas throw elbows and double dribble and you can't Call, hey, you double dribble. You got to fight, nigga. Can you whoop me? I'm going to keep double dribbling, and I'm going to travel too, nigga. I don't know which one my pivot is, nigga, but... Yeah, so no, send his ass to that jail house. I keep telling y'all, prison is one of the best solutions for troubled black men. Prison or the military. Fuck boarding school. Fuck a boot camp. Prison... 180 days in jail in Rockers Island and in L.A. County where you knuckling up in jail every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's my take on him, but fuck him. Yeah, bro. He's got some weird energy going on, Ja. I lied! I forgot to tell you. Yeah. Like cooking, bro. And he thinking that people don't see this shit. So I just want to know. 
Like, what's the like, what's the end game for him? What is he getting from this? Like, to be like looking cool to his friends, and those same friends as uh, Shannon said is like probably like, damn, we wish we was in his situation. He don't gotta be like out here like us, and this motherfucker out here, you know, a bunch of yes men in his circle probably. Outrageous. He can be sitting on private islands and shit with beautiful women, but he want to be out here wearing white t-shirts. I'm surprised he not rocking shysties and wearing all black and fucking mask and under armor shit all day, every day. He got to get it together. Thanks for watching.